So today we will take a look at a few ideas of how to use the audio sidechain modulator in Bitwig. As always, I added the ideas from this video to the PDF of tips and tricks I keep on updating. It's available on my Patreon together with the project files from this video and from many other videos. So the first idea is the most common one, using sidechaining to duck the level of various voices. The most basic is to duck a bass when the kick drum is playing. So here I have a bass voice, right with the phase 4. And a basic kick. Right, and now I can use the sidechain to create a pumping effect. And I usually use the audio sidechain modulator in the project section. So I can apply to anything inside the project and I'm not limited to a single track or instrument. I can choose the kick here in the device input, right, this one here. And then the sidechain modulator will analyze the audio, the incoming audio, and will extract the amplitude envelope, the actual curve of the volume that we can then map to various parameters. And here we have, of course, a few controls. We have rise or attack. So the time it takes the modulator to uh, react. In this case, I would like it to react immediately. And um, so it will react as fast as it can um, as soon as the kick hits. And then the fall or decay will dictate the response time of the envelope. But we also have two filters that we can use to choose only a portion of the audio. But again, in this case, I would like to use all of it. So I will just take the um, low pass and high pass all the way up. Right, and now we get here. You can see the envelope you are getting here. We can also uh, amplify this or amplify the input, right? So we get nice envelope here that we can again use to duck the bass so I can just map it to the uh, output here in this case the gain of the instrument layer right you can see also the movement here right so we already get this pumping effect that we can apply also to other instruments so here I have also hi-hats quite noisy Right, and I can also duck them. Right, and actually we don't even have to use the original audio. You can see that uh, I named this G-Kick, and the idea was to name this Ghost Kick. Um, and I will use it only to set um, the ducking envelope. So what I can do, I can take it out of the master. Right here we have the output. Set it to no output. Right, we still get this pumping uh, effect, but we don't have the audio anymore. Right, and we can use a different kick with a different rhythm. Right, but we still get a pumping effect from the steady four to the floor kick. I have here also a clap and some open heads. And then I have here also a lead that also it I can duck. Let's wait for it. Another idea is instead of ducking the volume of the whole voice, we can duck just individual frequency bands by using an EQ for example. Here again I have a kick and a bass. Right, I already have here one audio sidechain modulator set up with a kick drum. Right, now if I duck the whole bass, we lose the high frequencies also of the bass, right? So if I just duck the whole gain here, Right, we get again this pumping effect, but in this case I don't want this effect, I just want to make more room for the kick drum. So instead I will use here the EQ Plus, and it has also a nice feature that we can see the frequency of the kick drum, where exactly where it hits. Right here in reference we can set it to receive the audio from the kick drum. Right, and now this purple curve is the kick drum, and we can see exactly where it clashes with the bass. Right, so now for example, I can duck here this, uh, this low shelf right, quite a bit. And again, it's just when the kick drum hits. Right, maybe take it a bit here. 
Then we have here two more picks that I can uh, duck just a tiny bit, just to again, just to make a bit more space for the kick drum. It doesn't have to be too much of a pumping effect. Right, these two here. Right, something like this. Right, so we made some space for the kick, but the bass is still quite full and present. This is how it sounds like, just the bass. Right, and of course, again, we can use also other elements and not just the uh, kick drum. So here I have a drone, for example. Right, and I have also a drum loop. Just a sample of a drum loop. Right, and I have another sidechain modulator here set with a drum loop. You can see that I took some of the low frequencies out. In this case, I don't want to use the really lows. Maybe I will take this even higher a bit. Right, I just want to use this uh, high rhythm. Right, but again, I will take it out of the master. I don't want to listen to it. This is just to, for the rhythm, right? So now we don't hear it anymore. And I will bring back the drone. Right, and I will use this rhythm with this envelope to duck the high frequencies. Right, I have here the multiband effects modulator instead of an EQ, which is more or less the same. In this case, we just have lows and highs. So I'm using this drum loop to duck the highs. Right, and I'm using the kick to duck the lows. So we get two rhythms in one voice. Right, and again, this is just a drone. And with this side chaining or ducking, right, we get this nice rhythm. And I have here also an ARP that again, I'm doing the same. I'm using the multiband effects um, device here instead of an EQ, which is again, more or less the same. We just have two bands, lows and highs, and I'm ducking it with the kick drum. Another fun thing to try is affecting other parameters. Here I have some drums. I already have the kick set up with the audio sidechain. Right, and I have here also a pad. And now instead of ducking the level of the pad with the kick, I will only affect the filter. So we close the filter with this envelope. Right, so it's technically still affecting the volume, the overall volume, but it also makes things darker when they are not loud. Right, so it's a bit different than just controlling the output or the level or the volume. I have here also a bass. Right, and you can see that I'm using the same envelope to control the filter, but also other aspects of the timbre here like the modulation amounts, the shape, right? You can see this here, even the level of another um, oscillator here, this is phase four. Right, so again, instead of just controlling uh, level or amplitude or volume, I'm controlling timbre in this case. Again, just for adding some movement. And again, this doesn't have to be with just a kick. I have here another drum loop. Let me solo this for a second. Right, it's a sort of a percussion or percussive loop. Right, and I have another sidechain modulator set up. Right, again, cutting or not using the low frequencies so much. And then I have here also a drone. Right, and in this case, I'm using this drum loop. Let me just solo it for a second. Right, I'm using the drum loop to control the filter, the noise level, even pitch shifting. Right, so again, without it, it's just a, just a drone, but then with, 
we get the rhythm of these drums controlling this drone Two more things that I want to quickly show you. The first one is ducking effects to make more room for the main voice. So here I have a sequence. Right, and I have lots of delay and reverb on it, which is always nice. Right, but the uh, uh, pluck is a bit lost, so we can duck the effects and make more room for the pluckiness. I have here already a sidechain modulator set up with this voice, but as you can see, it processes also, it's processing also the delay and the reverb, but I would just want the dry signal, and that's because the delay and reverb are inside this effects section here. So if I just take them out of the, I'll just select them and move them out. Right now you can see we have a much cleaner envelope. We have just the dry signal, and then I can use this to duck the mix of the delay. of the reverb. Right, so we have much more space. Again, this is before. Right, it's nice, but it's a bit too smeared. We lose the attack, we lose the pluckiness of the sound, but again, with. Right, we get the pluckiness back. By the way, the Delay Plus device um, this one here has built-in ducking and you can see it's the affecting, you can see the arrow here. It's affecting the mix, right? So you have this already built in, which is quite nice. But here I have also a bass. Right, and I'm using the same envelope to control the filter. Right, so if I solo it. We get the same movement here also on the filter, it becomes brighter with the pluckiness of the first sequence. And another thing I want to show you, and we saw this before also a bit, is using the sidechain modulator to raise the level of a voice instead of ducking it. So sidechain expansion. I have here a sample of, uh, it's called Two Rivers Meet. Right, just running water basically, but it's, it's a nice noise source. So now I'll take the level all the way down. In this case, I'm just taking the level here on the filter. And I have here another drum loop that's again, it's not going to the master, right? It has no output. I don't want to listen to it. I just want to extract its rhythm. So I have here another um, sidechain modulator set up. And if I play this, right? It's controlling the level here of the filter. And it's basically creating a rhythm from this uh, noise source, from this water sample. Right? right, so this is also a nice idea you can try. Um, I have here a few more voices, but before I unmute them, thank you again um, so much for watching. I hope this was somewhat helpful. Consider joining us on Patreon. Cheers!